In this video, I'm going to go over some healthy ways that we can release anger. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and I aim to be an ally on the spiritual path. As we navigate our spiritual awakening, it's very, very common to come up against anger and rage. Okay, because so many of us have been taught that anger is wrong and that we shouldn't express it and we were never given really good ways to express anger. And we were taught that if we were angry, we should just, you know, let it go, let it go. But how do we actually let this go? Most of us have actually just stuffed it down <laughs> rather than letting it go. So when we experience a Kundalini awakening or a spiritual awakening and we have, we're downloaded, we're filled with all of this light energy, all of the density starts to move up. And a lot of the density seems to be anger and rage also sadness and other emotions, but we're going to focus on anger in this video, all right? So first off, we need to remember that our anger is not wrong, okay? Our anger is just an emotion that needs to be felt and released. And when we can feel, allow ourselves to feel these emotions and release them, then they can be healed. These things in us can be healed and released. But we need to be able to actually allow this energy to move and allow ourselves to feel these things. And also remember that sometimes anger has a purpose. Sometimes anger is here to show us that we need to take a different action or that we need to take action if we've been a little bit complacent and stagnant. Sometimes anger shows us where a boundary of ours has been crossed, maybe one that we didn't even know existed. So our anger, all of our emotions are tools and messengers for us. And it's important to wrap our minds around the fact that our, our emotions will always be what they are. And the point of this is to, rather than trying to control our emotions, is to find healthy ways to express them so that we don't stuff them and create disease in the body, okay? Physical, emotional, mental, spiritual bodies, they're all connected and when we're uh, blocking, in blocking energy in, we start to create disease. Dis-ease, okay? Dis-ease in the energetic and emotional bodies, which then filters out into dis-ease in the mental body and dis-ease in the physical body as like the final manifestation of what's going on in the spiritual. Okay, this stuff is really fascinating. Okay, so how do we, how can we healthily release anger? So one way that we can healthily release anger is to exercise, move your body, sweat it out, and allow your mind to focus on something else so your body can actually process the emotions and all of the energy, okay? Another way is to shake it off literally shaking, shaking your hands, shaking your body, letting like everything just go and allowing your body to just release the energy. Because this is something that's really interesting. Animals in the wild, when they experience some crazy event, they will go into the wilderness and just shake it off. You ever see like ducks fighting or you know, dogs have a little tussle, they'll always shake it off. And what they're doing is releasing that crazy energy. Humans don't do this. We keep it all in and make stories about it and just shove it down and so we don't have to deal with it. Eventually we're gonna have to deal with it. So if we can just shake ourselves, shake it off, allow our bodies to release the energy, it'll move way faster. Just try it right now. It just, it does such wonders for the body. Another way is to write down all of your angry thoughts. Just brain dump onto paper and don't think too much. Just let it ride. Just, you know, everything that is going through your head, every thought that goes through your head, write it down on a piece of paper and then take that paper and freaking rip it up. Rip it up or put it through the paper shredder or even better, light it on fire in a safe way. <laughs> Make sure that there's not 100 kilometer hour winds like there are right here, right now. <laughs> but make sure that you're safe about it in a contained thing. There's no wind. You're not going to light your whole neighborhood on fire. But <laughs> symbolically, when we, dis when we 
dump all of this energy onto the paper, we're actually taking the energy out of ourselves and funneling it through the pen and the ink onto the paper. And then the act of destroying it actually works with our subconscious mind to say, I'm done with this. I am releasing this. This no longer serves me. This is out of my field. Okay. Another thing we can do is to actually give our anger a voice. And this works really well with any emotion, but we're focused on anger today. So give your anger a voice. Find a place where you can have some privacy and actually voice what's going on. And all of these crazy, angry thoughts that are running through your mind, speak them out. Because this too just gets us out of our head and, and allows us to see these thoughts and these emotions from a different perspective, which in itself can shift our mind because just giving our emotions a name actually diffuses a lot of the power that they have over us. Okay, so when you're in it, just saying, this is just an example, like, whoa, I am so angry right now. I'm so pissed off. I feel like a friggin' idiot. Whatever you need to say and just blah, 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 blah. There's a reason that we call people to vent sometimes, but that's not always available. So if you can just vent by yourself, it might seem crazy, but you will feel so much better. And this too, this act shows your psyche that it's okay to feel these feelings and that you are acknowledging them. And there too, that usually diffuses a lot of their power. And if you need to, scream. And a lot of us are really uncomfortable with this. When I started doing this, I was just like, <laughs> like <laughs> because I was so blocked up and so used to never expressing myself and never expressing my emotions, particularly anger. And I was going through this awakening. I had all of this rage surfacing. And luckily I lived in the forest. I could just go out and just be like, <sighs> you know? Um, you would be surprised how cathartic that is. And this is, this is a healthy way. I mean, maybe don't do it in the mall. Maybe don't do it in public. But if you can go drive somewhere, walk somewhere where you know there aren't a bunch of people and just let it rip and just try this. Because this will, for one, balance your throat chakra, unblock your throat chakra but also just let it out, let it out. Freaking scream into a pillow, cry if you need to, allow yourself to actually express this stuff. And I know, like, I know, it seems like you're maybe having a tantrum and you are, because when all of this stuff is coming up, it can seem to come out of nowhere and we don't really understand it because this Anger, when we're going through a spiritual awakening, has been pent up for years in a lot of cases. For years. So this could even be stuff that's coming up from childhood. So you know what happens when kids get angry? They just like... Ah. And allowing ourselves space to actually express this is so healing. Because you see, even with kids, they have a little tantrum and then they're fine because they've released the energy. We need some ways to release the energy as well that are healthy and that will not harm other people and not bring other people into our crazy, okay? This is for us to deal with. If you're not quite feeling like you can go scream somewhere or you're not quite feeling the really dynamic movement that's fine too we can do some controlled breathing okay and just kind of if we're overwhelmed just diffuse the situation and come back to center okay so a simple thing is like the four by four breathing technique which i made a video about and i'll link it either here or here for you guys you can go check that out okay but just coming back to the breath and putting your focus on the breath calms the nervous system and then while you're breathing and focused on your breath see if you can tune in to your body and notice where that anger lives 
and see if you can focus your, your attention into funneling white light energy into the spot where the anger lives and just diffusing it. It doesn't have to be like this big dramatic thing. Just allow the energy to come in right into that spot and just kind of like penetrate that spot where the anger is and, and diffuse it from the inside out. Okay. Another thing that we can do is progressive muscle relaxation. Okay. So this is just tensing and releasing different areas of the body in succession and it, this gives the mind uh, a job as well and kind of focuses us okay so you can start from the face and move all the way down so what this looks like i'm just gonna make faces at you so uh you want to tense all of the muscles hold it really tight and then release okay so even with your face it'll look like this shoulders. You probably saw my shoulders kind of did it while I was doing that. And just letting yourself turn into like a floppy noodle when you release and just let everything relax and you can start with your hands and your arms. Just tense them up and then release them and let them fall into your lap. And you can do the same with your leg muscles. Stick your leg, stretch your legs out straight and just tense all of the muscles, crunch your toes up, and then let them release. <sighs> like I already feel way more relaxed just doing that. So let me know in the comments down below if you did this with me, if you did any of these with me, and how you feel after. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, please like it down below and share it with someone you think this would help. We all need healthy ways to express and release our anger so that we can live more balanced lives and just be flowing with it, you know? If you like this video and you want more content like this, subscribe down below and hit that bell notification. That bell notification down below so you get emailed every time I put out new videos. Sending you guys tons of love and I will talk to you soon.